My name is Melinda Rasband and I am an overcomer and this is my story. Last February I started seeing Stacy Egan for a diverticulitis flare-up. She was sure with how sick I was that I had C. diff and I did test positive. C. diff is an opportunistic bacteria that can colonize the colon and um, the C. diff bacteria can cause problems like frequent diarrhea up to 20 times a day, rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, and overall patients just don't feel well. We can normally treat C. diff with antibiotics, but for some patients, the C. diff is resistant to antibiotics or we don't treat it with antibiotics effectively, so we have to do something more aggressive like a fecal transplant. It was the beginning of the pandemic, and what I needed was an FMT, but we had to try vancomycin first, and I failed two rounds of vancomycin and still had C. diff. On Easter, I was really sick. I called Stacy at home and she wanted me to come in. She talked to me about eating and drinking and it was literally impossible with the infection I had. And I left her office and she called me two hours later while I was at home and somehow figured out how to get the FMT done even during the pandemic when none of that was supposed to even happen. A fecal transplant is when you take um, a stool um, donation from a donor, so someone who is not yourself, who is healthy, so that we can treat the C. diff, you know, with introducing a good, uh, a, a bunch of good bacteria into the colon through this fecal transplant. The transplant is done through a colonoscopy where we go through the colon into the cecum, which is the right-sided colon, and we, we dump the stool there. And this usually cures the C. diff, which with Melinda it did. In May, I noticed that there was a lump on the bottom, bottom of my sternum. And I went back to Stacy to see, got it first, and she said it was nothing to do with the GI side of things. And she said maybe I needed to go see my dermatologist, Lori Ramirez. And I went into her to have her look at it because I thought maybe it would, was just a lipoma. And the next thing I knew, she was calling me and she told me that I had some nodules on my thyroid, that they had gone up far enough and seen nodules, and that I needed to go see an ENT. So Melinda, through the course of our, our visits, had some, some symptoms that warranted a, a scan, and it was a surprise to find that she also had thyroid cancer. And so she was also seen by my husband, who is an otolaryngologist at Intermountain for care. And so, of course, I knew her husband was an ENT, so I just said, that's where I'm going. So I went to see him. We together decided that we needed to do a fine needle biopsy, and he called me back <laughs> with the results, and, it said, and he said that I had malignant papillary thyroid cancer. That was really scary to me. It was, it was found at an opportune size where it was still enclosed in the left side of my thyroid and it hadn't bothered any lymph glands or calcium glands, so it was best case scenario. After that, we were, I, I just continually dealt with colitis and post-infection IBS. And right before Christmas, I was in a lot of pain in my lower left side again, and I went in to see Stacy, and we did a CT scan, and it showed that my diverticulitis had flared up again and there was nothing we could do because we, I couldn't take the antibiotics. It says, well, you know, the only thing we have left to do, let me go talk to Dr. Vandersteen, but I think we just need to do a colon resection. So she walked out of the room and talked to him and he says, that's where we got to go with it. She says, I want you to go see Dr. Grunander. She's amazing. And I agree, she was amazing. And so she did the surgery three weeks later I'm very fortunate to have Melinda as a patient. She's, she's very trusting. She really takes the step forward to look after herself and also her family. And she's been so appreciative of all the providers and myself at Ogden Clinic. And we're just very fortunate to have her and to see that she's doing well. I'm so grateful for Alexander Ramirez, Stacy Egan, Dr. Lori Ramirez, and Dr. Megan Grunander. Um, I'm grateful that they were able to take care of me the way they did, and I am so blessed.